We worked hard. I think the results speak for themselves. The Fall Festival was a win. I'm quite satisfied. Oh. Even with E-Class so close. Well, sir, I grant you they entered with a battle plan. But in any case, winning by a wider margin would have been... Impossible? <laughs> they were running a restaurant. You're saying there's absolutely nothing you could have done. Not even a simple case of food poisoning. Come now. One has to think outside the box. Is he serious? What were we supposed to do? Dip their cookware in salmonella? All due respect, sir. I think your policies are to blame. It's all a mystery to me, but somehow E-Class has grown by leaps and bounds in the past year. Enough so that they can compete on the same level as all of us. More irritating. Even my own abilities have increased in parallel. Spurred by a rivalry I find rather insulting. In fact, my min... Uh, friends... feel more or less the same. This makes no sense. You were totally about to call us all minions! I can only conclude that your philosophy is wrong. Strength isn't relative. At least not true strength. One doesn't develop it by lording over the weak. Excuse me. Would you mind stepping out for just a moment, Asano? I'd like to speak with your friends alone. It'll only take about three minutes or so. Oh, go on. Don't be like that. What's three minutes in the grand scheme of things? What are they doing? You may come back in now, Asano. <laughs> Ren! Sayo! What have you done? Simply fanned the flames of their hatred no more. A few words is all it takes. A few whispered truths to unravel your absurd idea of strength. My philosophy, as you call it, teaches one far less fragile. Incidentally, I'll be handling the end of term exams myself. In the absence of the weak, strength has no meaningful foil. Let us go back to square one. For as far back as I can remember, my house has been a classroom. My father is the teacher, I'm the student. Unless there was some lesson he was eager to drive home, he and I never said so much as a good morning. Hmm. Driver, stop the car immediately. Sir. Hello. You're doing as well as ever, I see. This town is about to change. You feel it in the very air. In times like these, men such as me can make a killing. No reason not to share the good fortune. <laughs> For all the gambling you've loved so much. <laughs> the only real way you can feel the joy of being alive. Though, of course, I am the one who taught you that. Excuse me? I can't have heard you correctly, sir. I need further compensation. 
The clock is ticking, is it not? Who knows what will happen before it's all over? I must consider the risk to my students, you understand. One can't expect secrets to come cheaply. Keep in mind, you're on my turf here. I can sense that you're moving forward with some final plan. This is extortion! That's enough, Sonogawa. We can't afford to keep letting ourselves be shaken down for hush money by this man. By the time March rolls around, he'll have siphoned off more than the bounty's worth. I said enough. He's entitled to compensation in exchange for letting us use his school. Quite. Wire it to my account if you'd be so kind. Shrewd instincts, that one. He even picked up on the final assassination project we have in the works. Well played, Principal. You've got the defense ministry in the palm of your hand. Okie dokie. Time for an overview of what we've covered this year. I hope you're all ready for classwork battle. I assume you'll be aiming for the top spot, Karma. I don't know. Idiots like me have trouble getting their heads around the hard stuff. Now, as you know, for the first term midterms, I gave you all the objective of placing in the top 50. My apologies for that. I was too impatient for results, nor did I take into account how gifted your opponents were. That said, things are different now. You've matured in mind and spirit. I'm confident the goal I set for you will be within reach, whatever the opposition has in store. This time, you'll place in the top 50, win your tickets back to the main campus, and, heads held high, proudly graduate from E-Class once and for all. Wow, oh, you make it sound so easy. Uh -huh. A-Class has a new teacher to help him prep. I'm not gonna believe who it is. I will be personally overseeing your lessons as of today. Best of luck, then. I expect great things. So, we've come to that, have we? Bad luck for them. Who wants to be brainwashed by that creep, am I right? You guys know what I'm talking about. The way he can trap you with that steely-eyed glare. But his teaching methods are hardcore, and he can't even move at Mach 20. <laughs> if he's the one prepping them for the exams, they've probably already lost the will to defy him. <laughs> Stuff for drilling is ten times easier than usual, but twenty times faster. Hoshizume, Tanaka, Fuji, Kondo. And Okuno, you're falling behind. How can he tell this back to us? Sir, I'm sorry, it's impossible to keep up! If we were the big five, maybe, but please, this is too much! Impossible, you say? Perhaps because you don't know what it means to fight. Let's have a chat in the hallway. Three minutes should do. Just a little pep talk. You do not study for yourselves, boys and girls. You study to grow stronger, to demolish your enemy, E-Class. When the lower grades witness your triumph, they'll be eager to follow in your footsteps. They'll know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're elite, and devote themselves to joining your ranks. Make no mistake, students. It's people like you who push humanity forward. Ah, Asano, you may leave. I'd like you to study on your own at home. I'm sure with your skills, you'll manage to maintain the top spot. Provided you keep your guard up, I'll see to your classmates. When you think about it, Koro-sensei and the principal are kind of similar in a lot of ways. Like how? Well, for starters, they both have, like, extraordinary powers, and yet they settle for being teachers. Seriously, as manipulative as he is, the principal could have easily been prime minister or a business tycoon or something, you know? But here he is, totally devoting himself to this place. I mean, it's no wonder he's such a ruthless guy. Huh? Uh, it's Asano. What the hell do you want? Your lackey's too busy to do recon on us? It pains me that I have to say this, but I have a favor to ask of you. Hmm? Let me just cut to the chase. The principal? I need you people to kill him. <sighs> so to speak, I don't mean something like murdering him, of course. That would be patently absurd. I mean you should kill his philosophy. Not sure I understand. How exactly? It's easier than you think. All E-Class has to do is dominate the top spots on the end of term exams. It goes without saying I'll be placing highest. Of course, whether or not I perform as expected makes no difference. 
For a detritus like you to show up A-class, however? Now that'd be a slap in the face to his policies. All right, look. We all know the relationship between the two of you isn't really the best. But he's your dad. You want to rake his life's work through the mud? To reject his legacy? Oh, on the contrary. Believe it or not, my father actually wants me to take him down. That's what I've been groomed to do. This will be the fulfillment of his legacy. That's how we are. That's what our relationship is built on. Then again, if you didn't know the pleasure of being raised by him, let me assure you his methods are hell on earth. That should just about do it for today, I think. <gasps> now then, remember to review. The only thing supporting A-Class right now is their hatred of you. He's pushing them past their limits. If it raises them to victory, my father's methods will be the only thing they trust from here on out. We can't let that happen. Hatred only gets you so far. I know this for a fact. Scorning one's enemies is childish. My flunkies need to learn a healthy respect for their foes. Otherwise, their strength will be lopsided, and I'll only ever be second in command. The thing about defeat is that it gives you perspective. So I'm asking you, give the teacher a lesson. Let them all know what it is to lose. He may sound arrogant, but even so, he's speaking from the heart. I respect that. Proud as he is, he's bowing to us. Because for once in his life, he's really worried about someone other than himself. Huh. <laughs> That's big of you and all, but let me tell you right now, I'm actually gonna be the one to take the top spot. <laughs> what I say? I said next time we weren't gonna be taking it easy on you. Prepare to surrender your throne, Highness. You're going down. Oh, don't worry, though. You'll look just as good in 10th place. Uh-oh. Guess the gloves are off now. Just don't let it turn out like last time, please. Don't oversell it, man. Just try to do better than me. <laughs> oh. Asano, we've been working our butts off to win all along, just like you guys have. When you get right down to it, everyone's on the same side. We're stoked when we win, frustrated when we lose. No need for ranks beyond that. That really should be enough, don't you think? E-Class will strive to do the best we can. That way A-Class will have an opponent they can be proud to face. Don't overthink it, just bring it on. Yeah, try to make it fun. Come at us like you want us dead. <laughs> How amusing. Very well, I'll fight with my gloves off too. Wait, all this just for the math portion of the exam? Well, the principal did instruct us to pour through everything and come up with the hardest questions. Uh, for God's sake, this is junior high. What, we're preparing them for college now? I understand raising the bar, but he's out of his mind. Hmm. Ah. How unusual to see you here, Koro-sensei. I'm not aware of having done anything wrong. Perish the thought, sir. You're a by-the-book sort of man if ever I've seen one. You wouldn't resort to cheap tricks this late in the game? As this will be our final educational battle, in a manner of speaking, I wanted to offer you a small thanks for accepting my presence here when you certainly didn't have to. Koro-sensei. This is your first teaching position, am I correct? How did you know that? Let's call it educator's intuition, shall we? It's rather bizarre. You won't divulge why you chose this profession. Perhaps you'll do me the honor after I've won. There's not much to tell, to be honest. I can only speak from experience, of course, but in general, there are only two things that compel a person to teach. We wish either to pass on our successes or less charitably disguise our failures. Which is it for you, I wonder, Principal Asano? Indeed. The second term finals were only one week away. Of course, we studied like crazy. Anything we didn't understand, we had Koro Sensei go over. He did his best to keep up with our questions, but the poor guy's hands were so full, his doppelgangers sort of devolved. Then the day of battle was upon us. Uh, 
Yeah, not the biggest fan of the look in their eyes. Ignore it. You know they're just psyching themselves up. Think you can beat them, Karma? Eh, I don't know. I mean, if they're planning to actually kill me, that might slow me down a tad. The big showdown between A-Class and E-Class had come. Two camps led by two different monsters. Hungry. Ready to massacre each other. On paper, at least. Unless we assassinate this exam, I don't think we'll be able to hold our heads high even if we assassinate Koro Sensei. We can do it. After all, we've learned from the best. This is it. Time to unsheathe our second blade. We have to show our true target we're worthy. Or we can't graduate. Pencils down! It's no good. I couldn't get through them all. This is hard. There's not enough time to answer every single little question. The listening comprehension part was a beast. Not even Professor Bitch would know what all those vocabulary words meant. The first test and already were wiped out. Even worse, English is my strongest subject. What the? Uh-oh. It's about to get real. Whoa. Look at that. The grade point average on this thing must be ridiculously low. Even if one of us passes, it'll be nothing short of a miracle. What we expect, really. This test is designed to take us down a peg. Take that! So, how's A-Class doing? You sneaked a peek at him during the break. Dude, you talk about seething! <laughs> They were like blood-crazed animals! Never underestimate the power of hatred, I guess. Forget that! Just look out! Every man for himself! Abu Risu? Don't worry, I know what's up. We landed the top 50 or we're done, isn't that right? Who are you? Oh, that's the fake Ritsu. Bingo! And the real Ritsu broke it down for me like so. Reaching our goal hinges on low performers like me working as hard as we can to drive up the average for everybody else. Hmm. Right then. Next round. Begin! The questions are all uncommonly difficult. And as many as there are, one has to plot out a method of attack immediately. Hesitate for even a fraction of a second, and you're backed into a corner. But the comrade we were most worried about is doing fine. Is Tarazika for real with this? It's a question about probability. He's using brute force, essentially blowing through each potential answer as quickly as he can. But, uh, aren't we supposed to use a combination equation? Meh. Best strategy for a lughead like him if you stop and think about it. It's easy to take too long fishing for the most efficient approach. Sometimes it's better to come out guns blazing before you can second guess yourself, especially on this stuff. Now, when you see a question like this, don't be perplexed. Simply use the tactics I've shown you like so. Simplicity is your forte. Think raw power and go for broke. Screw you, Octopus! I may be a moron, but I'm hella strong! You gotta admire his fortitude, even if he is an idiot. Yeah. Remember, guys, we are the end class. We don't play it cool, we play it quick and dirty. <laughs> Zero in on your target's weakness! If you know where to aim, you can take it out in one shot. You may not get the right answer. But if you take the right approach... At the very least, you can get... Partial credit. Woohoo! I think that did the trick! No time for review, people. On to the next one! <laughs> Oh, crap. Recurrence relations. At the end? I thought this was just an urban legend. They put it on a junior high exam? Uh, mayday! Mayday! Oh, God, I need to reload! Working. Karma.
Oh, come on. I showed you guys last week. You have to take it to a particular solution. In addition to their regular classes, I had the students tutor each other on their strongest subjects. One of the best ways to deepen your own understanding is to teach someone else. It also fosters a strong sense of teamwork. The effect on karma was extraordinary. It patched up the gaps in his knowledge and polished him to a brilliant shine. Sure, but that Asano kid is a real overachiever too, right? Correct. And in fact, since grooming A class with the exams is no longer his concern, the boys marshaled all his know-how and cunning towards sharpening his own blade. A perfectly valid use of one's strength, of course. Though, to be entirely honest, not even I'm sure which method is better. Relax. Just do your best, okay? You're guaranteed to get at least partial credit. Don't worry. Leave getting full credit to me. Now then, how shall I finish him off? <laughs> <laughs>